Ken Wingard, Ken Wingard is here. He brought Paige Hemis along. Why? Because it takes not one talent, but two talents to pull two off men, this two, next two, DIY. Two. And Camilla's yeah. here. She's um, as Laura Croft. She's going to make sure they do this correctly. Sure. Stand over you and oh, you put on your like super you. pose for that. <laughs> I was just trying to show off for Camilla. <laughs> and look at anyway, this. This is a very intricate mosaic bistro table, and this is really beautiful. I've seen them all over. Are they similar to the similar to the ones I've seen? Well, so when when I sort of wanted to get back into doing mosaic. The stepping stones I did a few seasons ago were very sort of ornate. And a lot of things you see out there are sort of Italianate or rustic. Mm -hmm. And it's like, let's take that mosaic, but do it in something that would be a much more modern, clean way. So uh -huh. I was like, okay, all white. I'm going to do all so white plates. No, then. The answer is no. no. Okay. Technically, yes. No. Aesthetically, no. Can we no. just okay. be honest because Camilla's here? Ken was moving. Didn't pack he, well. Right. He broke, broke, a lot, broke a lot of places. Now he came place. up with an idea. I, well, uh, I drop things, things all the time. My phone. I can make phones. <laughs> oh, a phone mosaic. Mosaic. That was history be. of the iPhone. Yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I've got some blackberries in there too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now he's Julian Schnabel. But so with just you know just this, then I, I turned to Paige, who's the master builder, to say, how can I make this into a table? And we went very simple with the table design because this is so ornate and so beautiful. I kind of wanted this to kind of disappear underneath it. Well, yes. you divided up your talent. That it would yes. be a magic yeah. table yeah. if it disappeared. It would be magic. Yeah. How did you divide up the duties? Well, he so, broke stuff. Okay. <laughs> and she built stuff. And I built stuff. <laughs> yes. All right. There you go. Let's I'll take a look. A go video. to work. I got started on the base. What I did is a 24 by 24 inch base, and I'm just using three quarter inch plywood and, you know, a circular saw if you have that laying around at home. And then I'm doing this X right here in the middle because this or X on either side gives you the exact middle point. And that's going to be important just a little bit later. Now I've taken one by two and this is going to be the sides for Ken's lovely mm. DIY project here. I've done two at 24 inches, two at 25 and a half inches. I always forget that extra inch. That extra yeah. is so important because you want to make it look like a full box without having to dovetail corners or anything. This is the simplest way to do it. I used just a brad nailer to get that in there. So then this is a flange that you can get. This is an inch and a half and I just put it on the table base. Just use regular drywall screws to get that in there. And then for the very bottom, so that's the one you worked on. Now for the bottom of this, I did 18 by 18 because it could be a little bit smaller. Uh, and it's the same process. I took the circular saw, cut it 18 by 18, made the cross in the middle, took my flange and set that in, secured it with some drywall screws and some washers, and then put in the pole into the washer. And then since Ken was going all white with this design, I thought it'd be really cool to just make this pop with gold. So I spray painted the whole thing gold. Yeah, I think I this design it. is brilliant because it's a basic design that you can mm -hmm. use for any kind of cafe table. So mm -hmm. well thank you, thank you. So for the top, I mean, we can run the tape of me doing the top. It was very sort of your basic mosaic um, sort of plan. Um, first thing you do is just, you know, I went to the secondhand store, the American Way around down the block. And it, these were expensive plates. They were 99, I think I topped out at $1.99. Whoa. Um, wow. Safety glasses, a towel, and have at it. All the frustrations of the week. Or done. you could have come to my house. We could all pop. We could have broken the plates. So I got uh, the, the tabletop that Paige made for me, and I got Mastic, which you use to uh, apply tile. And you just goof it down. Because plates are angled, you need to put it on pretty thick. And then start off with your bottom edge. Your bottom edge and then work your way forward. And just find little pieces. Take your time. Find little pieces that will fit other little pieces and work your way up very systematically. Once it's all in, let it dry according to the directions, about 24 hours, and then just get grout. Um, stand, you want sanded grout, and just gob it on. It's like a birthday cake, your icing. Um, then you're gonna let that set up for a little bit, and then just wipe it off with a damp sponge. Um, you know, we did the house number um, pebble tiling this way, so is your basic grouting technique. Just go over it, get most of it wiped away, then let it set up. You can come back later and clean up the rest of it. So yep, we just added some gold paint around the outside to yep. match the base, and voila! Let me ask you, if you, you don't want to make a table out of it, can you hang this on the wall? I actually yeah. think it would be like kitchen art, but it's uh -huh. super heavy. It'd be heavy. so cool. It's so. heavy, so you'd want to go with like a French cleat or make sure you have drywall anchors to do it. But right. it is. I think it's a, a piece art. of art. Yeah, yeah, with mixed china. With mi yes. mixed china. Yeah, what are we talking so about? Oh, that's that's so all stylish and chic. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's put that bad boy okay. up. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right. All right. It is, it is very, <laughs> Superman, very just stand there. Oh, yes, yeah. Superman. I wanted to protect wow. her. She's, uh, she's in harm's way. Stand back. Oh, I got this. Thanks.
So now we're just that. screwing this onto the flange. Go. I'm not wow. even doing anything. Uh, oh, it's play games on that. There we go. Okay. All done. Is that good? Nice. Yes. Let's do it. Wow. Take it over here. Stand back until they're ready. Okay. Lovely. 